come here. Come here. <laughs> it's down here, silly. Come here. Yeah, you can go that way. Come here. You got to go through this hole right here. She's like, I don't understand. Please help me. Come here, right here. <coughs> right here. Can I put my visor down now? Sure. Okay, sure. we're on the we're on the home stretch. We are um, two miles from home. Two miles from home. I bet the kids aren't even home though. They probably won't be home until after a while. I need to call Kylie and make sure she brings them up home. At a go. Decent hour. I like to go play basketball on Sunday evenings up at the school. They open the gym up and the kids can go up there and play and there's some other folks that go up there and play so they like to go up there and mess around on Sunday evenings. So there won't be any glorious welcome home party for old mom and dad today. Nope. But look how green the grass is looking. Looks good. It looks greener. Yep. I wonder if it rained. Did it? Was it supposed to rain any while we were gone? I, I don't think so. I think the next chance that I saw before we left was on this like Tuesday or Wednesday. Yeah. So next, this coming week. But you can definitely see a difference in the grass. I mean, it's beginning to grow. It's probably grown and a half or so, two inches from when we left. I'm anxious to see if the Bermuda grass we planted this spring should have, this, this, the rain oh. we've got this week should have been enough. To, it should make, we should be able to see if it's for sure. I mean, this grass right here, you can show them. It was nubbed down to nearly the ground, so it's got three or four inches of growth on it but all the beautiful buffalo bar in there yeah it's sure looking good yeah <laughs> but uh, it actually is kind of pretty with the color but it's no good eh no good we should stop and see if that little stuff's coming up that we're well, i can see big bear spots so there's yeah, no so it's not beautiful no grass popping up there so i'm pretty disappointed guys because this is 35 acres here that we plowed up in the spring, hoping that we'd have it by now. I was hoping we might have gotten the first cutting of hay off of it. And it's looking like we're not gonna get anything out of it. There's not enough little bit of grass that's come up there to, to justify leaving it. And that's just old, probably Texas winter grass, which is spear grass. Here. Um, might be some rye grass. But none of the stuff we planted. What did we plant? We planted Bermuda? a coastal Baruta grass mixture. Three or four different kinds. And I'm not seeing anything perking up. I don't know. Maybe the, maybe so. There's a few little sprigs popped up over there. but we'll look back. Maybe by the end of this next week. We... Surely by the end of this next week if it rains yeah, if it and ain't, stuff. If it ain't up by the end of this next week if it rains we'll probably just turn them back in turn them back in utilize what we can and then maybe sprig some not sprig but uh no-till some wheat or oats i really hate to do that because in a dry pattern like we're in right now that seed will lay there dormant if we don't get enough rain to get it going until the spring when the bermuda grass when i want to sprig again or replant Bermuda grass, so I don't know what I'm going to do. I might just run a field cultivator through it, and turn all them weeds over, and get them knocked out and killed. Start again next spring. Who knows? Miranda and Lambert are doing well. All the sheep are here. Sheep are in good shape. Heifers are over there with their calves. Look good. Too, the heifers are too far away to look at, so you gotta look at some sheep. I really want this little black sheep to have a baby. This is our only little, our only black ewe. She's got one white leg, but she's all black. 
The rest of our ears are white with black faces. Yeah, one or two that's got like a black shoulder, like these. Yeah, like these like right this here. Right here, it's got a black, yeah, black she's shoulder. Yeah, further but. down. Well, I, mean, I can't wait for the little black one to have a baby because it's going to be cute. So this is a coastal field in front of our house right here. Looks pretty. So on... That's looking good. Yeah. On Sunday of last week, or Sunday two weeks ago, there was bare ground showing out here, and now it's pretty well filled in. Yep. So. Looks good. If we get a few more rains, we might be able to bail this. Should be able to get this bailed if we get some rains. Oh, we're and getting it, greeted by Pepper at least. Yep, Pepper and Izzy and the old Nala dog. And both, Sheba, David and Sheba are both up here. Both the sheep dogs. Everybody's here. greeting us. Hey, Pepper. Hey, Pepper. Nala's gonna get there. Nala. Oh, our yard looks awful. Sheep dogs up here. Here's Iz. Hey, Izzy. Izzy's getting in front of the car. She's out of the way now. Greetings. Uh oh. Nala. Nala. Nala don't even want you, Dad. No greetings from the kids, but we got greetings from dogs. Hey, Izzy. Izzy wants some loving. Nope. Pepper's like, nope, nope, I want the loves. Nala's like, I can't even get any. She don't do nothing but try to lick on me anyways. Let's go see the sheep dogs. Hey, These Dave. Two ain't even supposed to be up here, but. Hey, Dave. Sheba got a little limp. She must have been fighting. Uh oh, Sheba. What happened to your leg? Oh, Dave. Got a little limpy. Hey, Sheba. Hey, Sheba. We must have been fighting. David's laying down. Nala's like, I want to play, though. Let's play. Let's play. Let's play. Looks like they uh, have torn up enough stuff in our yard while we've been gone. Yep. Probably the kid's fault for leaving junk out. All right. We'll go check on everything else in a minute, y'all. My plants are dead because the kids obviously didn't water them. That's okay. They weren't doing very good. Okay, now that we have the whole gang in here, we're gonna go check on the pups. Oh my goodness! They're out in the pasture. They've moved to the pasture since they've been gone. Oh, all of them. What oh are my doing? gosh. Y'all are so cute. Y'all have grown so much in the three days. Hey, puppy. Hey, hey, hey. Oh gosh, You're, you want your belly rubbed. Oh goodness, here's another one, here's another one. You're ruining those puppies, Erica. Well, if you're not gonna play with them, I will. If I was- Come here, little puppy. Here's a word to the wise. If you come to come select here. a livestock guardian dog, come here. a protection dog, this right over here is the one you want to get. Not these that want to play. Look how big this one is. This little guy right over here. That's the He's one in there with the goats. See him? He's like, look how big this one is. I don't want to talk to nobody. Oh. I'm going to go here. They done drug the water hose. Look. Look how big she is. She's so sweet. This one's wanting its belly scratched. Oh, gosh. You want your belly rubbed? Oh, my goodness, little girl. You want your little belly rubbed. These over here done got them a cat Which, tree. Where's the, the boy at? Oh, here he is. Here's little Dave. Well, Dave, you're about the same size as everybody. He's about, he's heavy, actually. He's really heavy. He's like, feels like more muscles. Oh, really? This is little Dave. The only boy. Little Dave. Big Dave. Dave is our male livestock guardian dog. He's named after David from the Bible, King David, because he's a shepherd. He watches over his flock. And then the mother to these puppies, I don't know where she's she right went. She's right there. Oh, over there, Sheba. Sheba. Obviously, because David 
and Sheba. Sheba. Bathsheba. Oh. Short for Bathsheba. The steers look good. Steers are looking filled. Let's go see the steers a little. Let's go see them a little bit closer. I'll probably run away when I get over here, though. Hey, guys. How are y'all? What are y'all doing? Looking pretty good. Yeah. Oh, this puppy's like, I'm going to go see what this steer's yeah. doing. That may not be a great idea, but it'll be all right. It's a life lesson you might have life to learn the hard way. Life lesson you might learn, pup. Maybe don't go in there too close. No, nope, she's just going in there to eat poop like Nala. Like Nala, yep. Yeah. Oh, Nala's like, nope. <laughs> that was funny. How about the goats? How did they look? I didn't get a good look at them. Let's I go was check on the goats. Dogs. Checking out dogs. She, but she's like over there hiding out so the puppies ain't yeah. warting her. Hey, I'm so glad the puppies moved in here in the yeah, pasture. I need, I need to haul them down there and throw them out with the sheep. Yeah. The goats look good. good. Yep. Goats are looking good. You got old Lefty there is the big one with the horns. This That's the billy like, goat. Please play with me. Please play with me. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other big one closest to us that's chewing on the fence there, that's... Thelma. Thelma. And then we got Louise is the little nanny and Poncho is the little Billy. We got Poncho and Lefty and Thelma and Louise. They're so cute. And then a pile of puppies. That, pile of puppies with no names yet because no they're names. going somewhere else. We, all ha we hopefully have them all, all homes. We have homes for all of them, but... They're just now about to turn six weeks. We need to give them their puppy shots. That puppy's over there. Yep, there's yeah. the puppy you want way over there. Yeah. Can't see it, but it's over by the water trough. By Looks itself. like it's unsociable, but that's good because that means she's going to stay out there with her sheep and not worry about coming up to the house all the time. Which Dave and Sheba come up occasionally. Not every day, but they're hey, as long boy. as they're within this much from here to the where they're at right here to the can you show the people where they're at and where the sheep are can oh you yeah see that you can there? see right here they're they're right here so the sheep are out in that pasture out there they're well within enough room if, if something tried to get in them they'd be there before uh before oh, they knew what was on them so that's not bigfoot that's come here bigfoot. bigfoot now that is walking up i right thought it was bigfoot yeah. that is over here meowing at us the puppies are like oh let's play oh. <laughs> bigfoot says nope not happening she's like i need to get up here this kitty's like, mm, I might stay here and play for a minute. Let y'all gnaw on me. Everybody's so cute. Mm -hmm. They just want to play with Bigfoot, and Bigfoot's like, no, not happening. Oh, well, it ain't much fun if nobody runs from you. Or just They just lay there and let you lick on them. This and puppy want to play with you, Pepper. This puppy's like, play with me, Pepper. Nala, where have you been eating poop? Nala, where have you been? Where have you been, Nala? Did you miss us? Did you miss us, Nala? You are so well, cute, little puppy. Pick this up. You are so cute. Pepper, play with the puppy. Hey, Bigfoot. Hey, Bigfoot. Hey, Bigfoot. You're finally going to pick that up? Finally gonna pick it up, yep. We do not leave hay wrap on, but this was one of the frozen bells, right? Yeah, this was from this winter back in February when it when we fed we it, put it, it out was... here for a wind block for some sheep. Yeah. And the hay wrap was froze on it at the time, so one of those things you meant to, meant to get it done up. quicker and just didn't get it done. So yeah. Oh my goodness. I can't stop showing y'all the puppies. Look how cute they are. Hey, puppy, you found a little hole. The other one's like, where do I get out of here? This one's walking the fence like, how do I get out? Puppy, come here. <laughs> come here, puppy. Puppy, come here. Come here. <laughs> Is it down here, silly? Come here. Yeah, you can go that way. Come here. You got to go through this hole right here. She's like, I don't understand. Please help me. Come here, right here. <coughs> right here. Come here. Come here. See, you can make it through there. Good job. 
Good job, puppy. See? You made it. Good job. Is my mic still on? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to mute it so y'all don't have to hear me breathing over here. Yep, it's on. It's oh. on, babe. What do you want to do now? Mm -hmm. Can you check on anything Let's else? Let's make around up there and look at the sheep, I guess. All right. Hey, we're going to look at your sheep. Comes your little rat that don't think she has to oh mind. Oh my gosh! The rest of the puppies stayed up there like they're supposed to, and that little rat dog. Oh, now Pepper thinks she can come. Bad influence. Now is he? So, tell me when? Uh, when are these ewes gonna have babies? So they should start lambing in end of September, first of October. So pretty soon. We got some big lambs in here we need to get out. Anything that's got a long tail on it or some lambs that we should. Some of them should have already been sold, but it was the prices were kind of low. So we held them just a little longer. Even in these drought conditions, I mean, I probably should have got rid of them, but we had just that old junk up there where we had plowed and we're trying to get some grass to come up. So we just turned them up there, letting them utilize what was there so probably in the next couple of weeks we'll be selling some rams I don't know if you can see them but there's three little ram lambs right there that's a big old they look almost as big as the ewes because yeah. they like this this they guy will be so ready fast. to breed before too long I mean, he's already getting that big yeah rough face on him probably that little one with those scurs too with those what Got that little scur horn, see it? Oh yeah, I see it. That's a pretty big lamb. Two more in the back, back there. So do, so do you? You don't you don't plan to dehorn that before that one before we go, huh? They'll just do it when they buy it, or? Well, if he goes as a feeder lamb, they won't care. They'll just knock it off of him. Right. When they oh, okay. harvest him, but. Yeah. Some of those little rams right there are good enough to make breeders out of, so I may when we get them up here in a little while in the next couple of weeks go ahead and band their tails knock their tails off of them i'll probably knock them little scurs off sell, clean them up a little bit and get them sell them as rams sell them as rams yep somebody wants to turn them out i mean they're they're all out of registered registered dorper rams and most of these ewes are all you know could have been registered if if anybody took the time but they're not. You wanna go check on the tank? See yeah. if the little bit of water that it got is still there? Go check it out. My battery's on yellow. Oh my gosh. We'll show them the tank and then we'll sign off. That's a pretty little bird. Scissor tail. What is that? Scissor tail. Oh. This is my favorite little lamb right here. Y your black one's the favorite, so which is it? Well, this is my favorite lamb. This is the only little lamb. Only that white lamb. Cropped we have. out white. She's yeah. solid white out of. Now she's peeing. Sorry, guys. Yeah, she's my favorite little lamb. Besides this, Taunch. This is our main. Our this is one of our rams. A lot of these lambs are out of him. Chaunchy. Yeah, but let's find him. I think that's him right there. None of those are him. About to run over the hugest ant pile there is. Yeah, I believe that's old Chancho. Chaunch. Chaunchy. Is it? He's look, if that's Chaunchy, hold this. If that's Chaunchy, he's really Chaunch! Chaunchy! No, that ain't him. Yeah, he's it. he's not pot bellied enough. And Chancho don't Chancho still has his tail. Oh, okay. We can look for him after we check the tank. Yeah. If we have enough battery left. Come on, he is. Y'all get in. Y'all were not supposed to come up here. Come on. Come on. Everybody full house. Everybody just jump on in. Nala is a bad influence on Pepper and yeah. Izzy. Nala does not know how to stay at the house. She did the other day because I, I put her in a kennel because I 
she was out here chasing sheep when I was going for a walk, so I kenneled her. And then the next time I went for a walk, she didn't come. So I thought, oh, well, that's nice. That's good. Kind of learned her lesson. Here's the tank. Pepper? Pepper done fell down. So it's got a tiny, tiny bit of water. It's better than a dry tank, I guess. Not really. Not really? No, because this creates a hazard where yeah, right. ewes and lambs can bog down and get stuck instead of... Right. But you do have to start somewhere. Yep. But you can see how much that water was up to right in front of the ranger. Yeah, and the water was way, way up here when it rained the other day. So in less than a week, it's receded Sorry. that much. Yep. But it was pretty shallow, so it lost a lot to evaporation. And then there's about 80 ewes and four four big heifer well i guess three cows and a big heifer and some calves in here so we should not be standing right here we should have water in here <laughs> oh the dogs like it well they're running back home now yeah they ain't getting in the ranger now y'all have ruined that the big dogs are swim or oh no nala's still walking not too deep for her They're having a blast. All right, well, they're gonna, they're staying here. Drive off before they try to, get, to get in. Try to get in. So, one thing. So in, what, about a week will be the start of dove season. And normally we like to sit over there under that little tree with all them rocks under it. This tank has usually got a good bit of water in it, and you can it's a pretty good little dove hunting spot. But I don't know this year if it's going to draw. There's not enough, no water in it to draw any birds to it. So yep. it'll, it'll be interesting to see what the dove hunting looks like this year. Hope that wind ain't just bellering y'all out. But. It is. Right, let's go we'll check the cows. Check the cows so we can find find Chanchi and then go in the house and start unloading all our junk. Y'all check out my new cat. Walker Farm Pam. They're amazing. We were so glad to meet them. And they just they brought us a couple caps to take home, so that was nice. Cody said Clancy was getting this one, but it yeah, matches. If you're not shirt. already following them, if you're just following us from TikTok and stuff, check out Walker Farm Fam. They're yep. they're awesome. They've got a lot of great content. Yep. Really think you guys will like them if you like us. So But half of you, most of you are probably here from Walker Farm Fam. They're so sweet to give us a shout out. They've become great friends in a short amount of time. these little angus type heifers angus cross heifers in here the black ones and they've all got they've got those three little calves over there on them sorry i can't look at your I mean, butt I, and read your mind i wasn't Erica. just holding the deal right in front of you for no reason i'm gonna talk go talk to ruby real quick ruby is a hey rubes she's a beef master heifer what you doing she's a what bottle baby so come here we take care of our neighbor's cows for him come we here. look after them feed them what's em. going on What's when it's time on? to wean calves, What's we do the wean in. Uh, you know you like their little work neck all rub. the calves and everything. You know you like their little neck rub. Oh, I guess about a year and a half ago, two years ago, Ruby's. We moved a bunch of cows, and Ruby got left behind over here across this fence behind Erica. And we found her and brought got her back to the herd, but her mom wouldn't take her. Uh, we 
left her there for a day or two and, and nobody was nobody was letting her nurse so we brought her back to the house and put her on a bottle and got her going good so normally we would just get rid of ruby but she's too cute i don't know what we're gonna do she's with too her. I mean, cute we can't just i'm get thinking ready. i might see if my neighbor will just let me he's got some bulls out there we got some bulls on the cows right now i may just turn her in there she's old enough to breed now we may just turn her in there and let her get bred um None of the bulls that are up there are her, her sire or her dad. So I'm thinking about just turning her in there with them and letting her get bred, and we might try to get a calf out of her, keep her around. She's gentle. She knows where to where the lots are and everything. And so as we trade cattle in and out of here, want to tell everybody hi, Ruth? She would uh, be good for helping us pin. Want to tell everybody hi? Huh. Say hi. She's so pretty. You're so pretty, Rubes. You're so pretty. And tell everybody hi. She's like, no, I'm done with y'all. Ruby, you gotta say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Okay, be that way. So these little black heifers that we've got here. Look at these little babies. Not oh. these calves that Erica's showing you, but they're mamas. They are left over from, we had a group of about, I think there was about 20 of those heifers that we bought that were open and we put a Hereford bull on them to get them bred and these three were a little slower getting bred than the others. We, we'd we already sold them and they were two and three months bred when everything else was six and seven months bred. So we kept them and calved them out and we'll we'll get them up for sale here for too long. Trying to let those Size calves on them, but it's about time to get shed of them. So we'll, we're gonna get them up for too long and uh, tag them to match. I mean, I know which calf goes with which cow, but we're gonna tag them to match their mama so it's easy to see and then get them get them marketed and get them gone. So we'll what? probably castrate the bull calves just because I think there's just one bull calf. Um, yeah. We'll get him castrated and give him a little time to heal up. Um, do the, whoever buys them a little favor there. And so y'all, y'all let us know what y'all think we need to do with Ruby. When, when the others leave, does Ruby need to leave or do we need to turn her out with the bulls and let her, let her get bred and keep her here on the place. Hashtag a, save Ruby, okay? We need to keep Ruby forever and ever and let her grow old. She's a na She has a name. She has to stay. We'll see. Y'all let us know in the comments what you think. I think she needs to move on down the road and, and go, go to her permanent home. And This is her permanent home, Cody. Get out of here, Nolly, you old wet, nasty thing. And uh, let us know what you think in the comments there and keep ranching, guys. Y'all put... y'all. Put a cute little cow emoji in the comments if you think she needs to stay. Hashtag save Ruby.